uh, there is nothing more I want to say is that except that we are almost at uh, our target. I want to encourage my staff across the country that it is good to remember that it is what gets measured that gets done. And hence, our being in these schools to ensure that we are all working together. Uh, we are at over 90 percent. There are hiccups in some parts of Western and some parts of Rift Valley and of course Nairobi and Mombasa. But uh, knowing that we have the whole of next week to regiment, we should be able to deliver. So from here I'm going back to Nairobi and I think uh, we have agreed with uh, my officers here that Kiambu is going to get completed tomorrow. And which means the larger central region will be at 100 percent. And we should commend uh, Otieno who happens to be a female, who has now <laughs> led everybody else ahead of uh, this process. Some schools in Kakamega are still sending children over the weekend to go and look for money. Uh, can the RDE Western uh, ensure that uh, the children of Mukumu High School are taken back to school immediately? If the school leader is very uh, keen on getting money from parents, he has the power, together with my officers on the ground, to summon the Parent Teachers Association so that they are able to deal with the financial issues without interrupting the children's uh, short period. The second point I want to say this morning is that uh, we have done extremely well in terms of registering our children in grade six with regards to selection. And we are also human because we have interfered with some dates uh, we were supposed to start uh, at a particular date and we started late. We have also had hiccups and we are also going to have hiccups on Monday in some areas. Therefore, as a government, we have decided to extend the final extension for the school selection process. I think it's better to take it up to, we give, we give them another 10 days so that uh, by the 10th of September, if your child has not selected uh, the school, now it becomes your own problem. I would want to encourage those who have not selected to continue to select after consultation and that this is not going to be a hiccup, it's not going to be a challenge because uh, even, for example, with the elections in uh, Kakamega and uh, Mombasa, the children will not have extra time uh, for the week that we have added a week with the standard deviation, which is making it uh, about 10th of September. If you are selecting schools, select schools which will, you know most of the schools are day schools. The majority of schools in this country, 75% plus, are day schools. So we are encouraging the parents to encourage their children, after consulting with their teachers, that they should select day schools near them, so that they can still go and suck breast milk at home. Are we together? But uh, the few who want to, to venture into national schools are also allowed to do so. For the private uh, school sector, which is a significant part of our own life right now, I think most of their children will remain in their schools because uh, quite a large number of them have conformed to what we require. The primary schools that did not want to become high schools have now become high schools because they have built labs and they have built classrooms. So we are hoping that the private schools will keep their children in their precincts for another three years. When it now comes to uh, grade nine, and I thank God I will not be there, it will be quite challenging because then the schools will have gone into the three uh, system where uh, you, you, you ask yourself, this school, where is the strength? And then the competition will be there. But the good thing is that the children will have already been known. Are we together? So it will be very easy for the people who are selecting the children. Because there will be no child who is stupid. There will be no child who is intelligent. Because each child will be good in something. So I think that's all I can tell you for now. And that's why we have added them time. If uh, they have serious issues, I have officers in the ground up to the sub-county level who are, have been instructed to go ahead and, and assist them. But from what we have seen, they are not doing very badly.